Thank you very much. I want to thank the neighborhood groups for, for putting the uh, debate on tonight. When I think about the infrastructure in the, the, the city, I look back over my 30 years delivering mail in, in the city of Lowell, the torn up streets. You know, neighborhoods are like people. They live and breathe. People move in every day. They, they strain the neighborhood services, usually parking, sometimes parks and schools. People move out. They leave empty buildings along with the businesses. They can harbor criminal activity. You have uh, utility companies, city work crews tearing up the streets, tearing up the sidewalks, and um, these things all have to be improved. And you say, well, how do we do it? We do have a capital plan. But I do, I do believe it needs to be flexible. So in neighborhoods where adjustments have to be made, they will be made accordingly. We have to reinvest in the neighborhoods. Right now we have the city manager's um, initiative, the impact initiative program. Um, it uses block funds and other funds to redo streets, parks, and help the neighborhood. But what we have to remember is down the road, how do we sustain it? We have to get more money. We have to get trained people down in the code department. We have to keep it staffed. We have to keep them trained. And we have to be out in the streets. We have to work with the business community. Businesses come into the city. They want to expand. We have to make keep it safe, but we have to work with the businesses so they can expand their businesses and uh, hire new employees and be profitable. We have to look at how we do ashes and waste and how we do garbage disposal. A couple of weeks ago, several weeks ago, I called the city manager's office after knocking on doors uh, to come up with an idea for, make it easier for picking up bulk items. We talked about prepaying. I believe that went before the um, city council subcommittee last night. I don't know how it will make out. I don't know how it, it's going to uh, come out. But these are the ideas we have to work on. And we have to begin to partnership with the other people who have interest in the city. Some of our roads are owned by the state, um, the bridges, and so on. We have to be, be, begin working with them. Sorry. I want to thank the neighborhood groups for hosting. I want to thank everyone for coming tonight. A couple of key issues, I think. One, we do need that capital plan. I do think it needs to be flexible. Walking around the city, I've knocked on over 3,000 doors at this point. I still see the handicapped can't come down the sidewalks. I can't, I see the elderly, they have to come off the sidewalks. We, we need more work. <clears throat> we have to work with the state delegation. A lot of these roads, a lot of these bridges in this city uh, are run by the state. We need a closer relationship with them. We need the partner with private companies, uh, as Paul mentioned earlier. They own the canals, they own the walkways around them. Then the historical park might own some of that area or, or control it. We have to get a partnership with these people and um, we need a capital plan for ourselves and we have to work with the others to keep the city clean and the, and the roads going. Thank you.